Hi, and welcome back to another Hashtag Coffee Break. Again, we're with uh, our good friend and colleague, Barkley Ray. Hi, Barkley. Hi, Dave. And maybe to finish off these series, we talked about long and long and uh, long and hard about the current situation, about people, about teams, about the social aspect of where we are right now. But I want to cover off something else, something completely different. Um, the work that you guys have been doing in relation to some of the books and the four books that have been coming out. So it'd be great if you could give us an update of what's happening right now, what you know, what's led up to where we are, um, and maybe what's happening next. Okay, so um, about. February 2019, we, we released the ITIL Foundation, ITIL 4 Foundation, which was really quite a, a ch change in a lot of ways. Um, it had a number of different new things in it, uh, like the guiding principles, mm. the concept of value streams, uh, the service value system, and, and so on, a, a number, and, and the way that we positioned um, things like the practices or what we previously called processes. Um, that came out quite a lot of that had you know was reaching out to the agile devops world product management all those kind of things but you know we took some time to think about the language and the compatibility of that as, as really as a means of saying look service management development agile devops worlds they are not you know they are not uh, completely unconnected. We, we we should be working together, and I know lots of organisations that are struggling with well, how do we bring them together. So, ITO four really is about saying to ITSM people, how do we move into that new world? Uh, and it's also saying so reaching out to the DevOps um, community and saying, look, um, think about the whole life cycle. You know, we don't just build stuff fast and move on. We have to run stuff. Still the biggest cost of any service is, is, is in the run. So um, can we work a bit more closely together? Um, and some of the ideas that were in ITO Foundation were also, we, we'd had in a book called ITO Practitioner a couple of years ago, but ITO 4 was out and that was a bit of a game changer. Um, just in the last couple of months, um, Axelos have released the, the next level, which is called Managing Professional. Um, and there are four, there are four books, um, and the first part of that, um, which is these ones here. Um, this one here, Create Deliver Sport, of which I was the lead editor, and three others, three excellent um, publications. But uh, you know, High Velocity is all about all the new stuff, all the cool stuff. Um, stakeholder Direct Plan improves about how you plan and manage, and Driving Stakeholder Values about relationship management service level management and so on. Um, the, the thing about those is that they are not, they are about how you apply ITIL in context. So all the information about practices, so incident management, service level management, configuration, all those things, that information is separate now and will continue to be separate and it can be updated more dynamically. Mm -hmm. Whereas these are books about how you apply in different contexts um, the various practices. Um, and there's one more publication that's due later this year, which is the Digital Strategy, Digital Leader um, mm -hmm. book, which led by David Cannon and uh, Erica Flora, two very eminent people in our industry. And that one really is about, I suppose, more about what is involved in IT for business people. So it's really trying to pull those things together much more from a business perspective, if you're at the kind of sea level going through an organization. Um, just a couple of things about the Create Deliver Support publication, um, which sort of is the one that represents the whole cycle from the previous world. Um, and a few things in that that I'm particularly pleased or proud about, and, and they are relating to the things that we've been talking about, which is people satisfaction, employee um, measure, you know, employee satisfaction measurement, customer focus, mm. um, how we bring things together, how we get organizations working together. So there's stuff in there about organizational structure, culture, teams, you know, all, all these kind of things that we know are important. And I was very clear, I know that you, uh, you joined one of, of the early sort of planning meetings. It was, it was really clear to, to, to make that statement early on 
Mm. You know, to say, look, this isn't just about process stuff anymore. It's just not about telling you how to do things. It's about how we do this with people and how we get people to work together. Um, so that's where all that stuff is. There's, there's lots of, I mean, the, the, there's training associated with it. There's lots of other aspects of it in terms of it still being translated and rolled out to different countries and you know the, the whole aspect of that which I don't have really, really anything to do with but the sort of bulk of the content the, the practical content has now been produced we need we await that other book and then there's a sort of further aspect which is there's a higher level designation but that's not going to be based on exams so much and, and and it's 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 more that you know we were trying to get rid of a lot of the old misconceptions that yeah. dropped in the air that it's just a sort of you do the course and then you basically that's you set up for life you know, it, it's about how we apply things intelligently we use them flexibly we use them organically and um you know we we, we don't just read this stuff and say well that's what the book says so we must do it that way we're there to um you know to to join the dots and i know we've also done some work on how that fits with the service desk certification program um, there's there's a lot of synergy there and the, between the guiding principles and the main concepts of uh, concept areas of sdc so you know it's it's, it's been designed to be inclusive and consistent uh, forward thinking. I think the real difference for me is that it's best practice has always been about looking at what people have done and trying to sort of say, well, that genericized that. There's a lot in this, uh, particularly in the um, I Velocity book, which is about not about what's happened before, it's about going forward. So, you know, actually looking ahead rather than just looking back. Um, and, you know, I would hope that many organizations will get some value for organizations, not just individuals. Isn't it? It's not just for people to learn and, and get, you know, get them on their CV. Of course, that's part of it. But the real success of it will be that organizations are using it properly. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's honestly, I really, I, I really think it's a, a great piece. You know, I think the guiding principles are, are so beautifully simple. Um, so yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And certainly when I've been into organizations, I think there's still a, a sort of, a, a people are still sort of in the three, version three sort of camp. I'd like to think, as you rightly said, that organizations would change the way that, you know, they, they, they sort of, um, they do things based on that. And I've seen a couple that have. They very quickly, you know, change the way that they do stuff based on what, um, what we, what I look for is 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 trying to uh, encourage and influence, which is great. Good, Barclay. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for listening, everybody, uh, and we'll see you in a in a in the next session. Thank you very much. Thank you.